Hi and welcome to Saint-Nazaire in Western France. Today, the Philippine Coast Guard is taking command of the Gabriela Sealang, a new offshore patrol vessel built by French shipyard Osea. With 84 meters in length, this is the largest aluminum hull OPV in the world. Yeah, so it's a new ship for us, for the Philippine Coast Guard. It's an 84-meter offshore patrol vessel. So we call her uh, BRP Gabriela Silang. And uh, yeah, it's uh, especially made for the Philippine Coast Guard to, for our, uh, in support of our mission. Uh, we'll be focusing on our five functions, which are the maritime security, maritime safety, maritime law enforcement, Maritime, uh, search and, maritime search and rescue and mar marine environmental protection. Uh, soon, maybe, we'll be, we're expected to leave France by end of uh, the year. It will be sailing by itself, so we have a good complement to man the ship going back home and uh, will be supported by OSEA with their experts as advisors during the convoy. We are now number 235 personnel. There are six officers and the rest are our enlisted personnel. Uh, yeah, it's a privilege for me to be selected and go here to train and to bring the ship back home to Philippines after its completion here in France. And we're very thankful for the French government for, for, the, for this, for having um, one of the good uh, company, uh, shipbuilding company, to make this ship especially designed for us in the Philippines to patrol our 7,000 islands. Commander, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. We are here to celebrate the flag change of the Gabriela Silong. Uh, it's an offshore patrol vessel designed and built by OSEA. Uh, 84 meters long that uh, is uh, delivered today to the Philippine Coast Guard uh, under the uh, Department of Transportation in the Philippines. The main qualities of the design is uh, First of all, uh, low uh, cost of operation and low emission of the solution we propose uh, thanks to uh, the use of the aluminium technology we could uh, achieve a very competitive vessel in terms of uh, fuel consumption. We will consume about 42% less than an equivalent in uh, steel. And of course, also thanks to this, a 42% uh, uh, lower emission in CO2. Uh, so this is the first main uh, characteristic that conduct the, the Philippine Coast Guard to choose our uh, vessel. But of course, uh, the boat is designed to uh, fulfill all the operational needs of the Philippine Coast Guard for surveillance uh, of their uh, territorial waters and exclusive economic zone. Uh, for maritime safety and security missions, including uh, safety operation in case of climate problems like typhoons. Uh, we can accommodate up to 35 survivors in the boat. And to conduct the maritime security and uh, safety missions, we have a lot of integrated uh, uh, features like uh, the helideck. <laughs> capable to receive a helicopter up to 8.9 tons. The hangar, 
for the helicopter, capable to receive up to six tons helicopter, but also uh, diving room with a, a decompression chamber for two people, uh, two uh, 9.2 meter ribs launched by uh, hydraulic davits. So uh, uh, we have also uh, Kelvin Nukes radars for the navigation and for the surveillance. We have uh, day and night uh, a camera for the surveillance and also for the uh, search uh, during night uh, intervention in case of search and rescue, for example. Uh, so all these features are dedicated to the missions of the Philippine Coast Guard uh, with a, a boat, again, competitive in terms of uh, uh, operation. Uh, as usual, it has been an international competition uh, between uh, France, Aust uh, Australia, uh, Korea. The Philippines are a lot involved with Korean and Japanese, for example. Uh, we think that, uh, first of all, we have been capable to reply to the requirement in terms of operational capabilities. Uh, we could propose a competitive solution uh, in terms of acquisition cost, but also in terms of uh, uh, operation cost. And we accompany our uh, proposal with uh, uh, full integrated logistics support services, including the training of the crew, uh, the support uh, means like the tools and uh, spare parts, but also a five-year maintenance contract. All this with a financing proposal to allow our customer to, to purchase the vessels.